Hello everyone, welcome back to the Petal Cube. And today we are, will be covering on AZ220 Microsoft Azure IoT Developer and focusing on Lab 5 Individual Enrollment of a Device in DPS. So, similar to every other lab, uh, we need to have our um, Azure portal ready, All right? We have our Azure portal, we close this. So we have our Azure portal ready. What you will be seeing is RGAZ220 IoT Hub and Provisioning. You may not see, uh, you may not see the rest of it because this will come in with the other lab. I have already completed several labs. As such, I I see additional things here and you may not see those additional things. Okay, so let's move on to lab 5. So you have to complete each of the lab in sequence because there are a lot of dependent um, things. You cannot skip lab. So if you have not done the previous lab, please go and watch the video and get it done. It will take about 15 minutes or 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes each of the lab. Right, I'm not going to go into the details of the lab. We're going to go straight into the um, execution part. Okay, in this lab, make sure you have your uh, reference note that you have created before. Remember, you have created a reference note, so make sure that you have these details. So as more common details come in, then we're going to paste those details as well over here. But for now, this will be used widely. So remember to have it, and you have already executed in the previous steps. Okay, and uh, as you see, the prerequisite is you must have the resource group IoT Hub and provisioning. And how do you verify that? You already have a resource group IoT Hub and provisioning. Okay. Similar to the other part, then this is where you need to have your cheat hub downloaded and we will be opening the cloud shell here. Click on it, open the cloud shell and then let it load. So once it is ready, you will see it like this. Let's see if it means it's your look address click on upload and then locate for this particular directory so we are relocating it upload upload and I'm going to locate to the particular file oh, lab lab and we are going to lab 5 today and then we are going to set up and we're going to copy this. Remember, the step is similar to what you have done in lab 4. So you're repeating similar step at this time for lab 5. Click this, click open, and then done. That's it. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. So, and then you can click on LS. In my LS, for you, you will see lab 4, and then you will see lab 5 setup document over there. You may not see the rest, mine because I've done it. Okay, as such, we do similar, we make directory of lab file similar to what I have done and then we move the setup file into lab file and then we click CD lab file. So we are into the lab file. So if you want to check what are the files inside it, you see you have the lab file files inside it already but you may not have the build because we haven't built it. So in this case, we are changing this to hash mode, copy this paste, done, and then you click here, open editor, similar step to the lab form, locate your lab file, click on it, click on setup, change your ID, change your location, region. Okay, once that is done, Click on this three dot, save and close the editor. 
all right after that just dot net and set up if you do copy paste this and it will start installing remember guys you would have missed this if you missed this in that form you wouldn't have done the whole thing by simply doing it so make sure you set up your lab file in case anything done so we notice under dps here click on it you will go to the next item where is the manage enrollment okay if you're asking me under setting you can see the manage enrollment click on that and then again manage enrollment let it load click on manage enrollment now add individual enrollment okay and then click let's click let me show you how it looks like okay and then under the mechanism make sure you click symmetric key and then uh, the others is also generated you know and this primary and secondary keys is uh, is automatic so if you see if I click here okay, you know, and then you have to put in your registration ID put in this detail here okay, copy that and paste it here and then make sure you select your proper this okay here they ask to leave it blank let's follow that pause even leave it at, and then we are moving to here click on your IOT hub that you have already created once that's done you go back down a little bit you see this code paste this statement over there okay and you can see like this erase this and paste this okay and then enable click save up here right so in case i'm not doing it because i've done it in the past i'm not going to do it again and then let's review okay you will see under the manage enrollment here okay you will see this transfer that we have just created okay and you will see the item okay. see, but here is 2004 then you will see sensor digital 1000 so you click on it so in this case i just start uh, to show you I'm just clicking on the sensor that I have over there. So click on that and then you search for authentication type you see here. Okay, make sure you it, it, it will follow similar. In this case it's X509. In that case it will be symmetry. And then what you have to do is you have to copy the code. Remember the earlier code? Copy the primary and secondary code. So in my case, I have copy the primary and secondary code um, and uh, for lab 5 so, and uh, although I have deleted it I can show you how it will look like it looks like this okay and then you close you, 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 you copy it and then you close you go. in this case it's asking me because it's new you see if you have changed anything that I don't want to say press I did not say anything okay remember copy and paste it on your notepad so there you go and all right on the DPS so I'm back to my dashboard on the DPS I'm clicking it I'll see an overview okay do you see an ID code here? ID school? Okay. If you click here, copy the clipboard, copy that. There's something that you need to do. So what you're going to do is, 
You going to put not down there but up here ID scope because your device ID scope retains the same. So I'm going to save and keep it. I'll be using it later. Okay, this is it. Now you open back your Visual Studio. Back your Visual Studio file. Uh, you open the folder. And this time you are open folder for lab five. So I'm gonna open my lab five. Okay, I'm gonna open the lab five and start the container. Right? Let me just open the starter and then click on container select folder. So now I will be seeing you will see similar like this okay so under the container device this is what you will see view terminal okay and then what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna get dot net restore okay i'm just gonna follow right so yeah, sorry. Okay. So here, you see. Uh -oh, okay. So we start, and then now we will be doing similar to the previous labs. We will be creating the program. So how do you create it? Same step. Make sure you have PPSI scope. Remember I told you scope? That is something that is very required. Alright. So here you locate your registration ID which is at the top. Paste it with your sensor that you have just created. And then your PPID scope. Remember this? PPID scope. Copy this and then replace it. Okay, you have done that. Okay, done. Then paste your primary key and paste your secondary key. Remember, you have copied that. Paste your primary key, secondary key at this position inside the code. Remember, inside the code, paste it inside it. Paste it inside the code. Okay. That's done, then now we are doing the code. We need to put in code. In my case, I've already put in the code. So I will just quickly tell you how to do it. Control F and search. Paste this. Find the location. And then paste this particular code over there. Move on. We are not going to go through the explanation, but you can go to read it. So since this is a lab for exhibition, I'm not going to go through it. Then you find number four here. Insert. Copy this. Control F. Control F and paste it. Okay. Locate it. And then paste this code. Let me move to Yeah, let's start and then we go to the top and we just save the file. Just go file and save. Either save or save all. Okay. What I'm going to do is we go to locate main method. So, where is my main method? I can see my main method is over here. What are they asking us to do? Okay. Find this and read and paste this below. Similarly, locate this, control F, paste this, find it, and at that location, paste this code below until here. The whole, whole code down there, down below this statement. Okay, and uh, let's move on. We find this, and then we paste this code completely. And then we go to file and save. That's 
agree on that. Uh -oh. Then we need to simulate. Is it terminal here? You are in program CS. So what we're going to do is we're going to put .NET run. So what you're going to see is you're going to view it like this. Okay, you're going to see a few statements coming up. The output. You're going to see a while. Let's see. The output. Okay. You know why line 44? I could not trace it. It's because I have removed the device from Asia. I think you do not have the device. Yet. So it will not allow me to have it. Okay? But in your case, you will say this, and then you will start seeing similar message, send message, blah, 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 right? After that, you go to the, once you start seeing that result, you go to this terminal here, and then, let's, let's, uh, I want to move back to the main, because so if you want to go back again, you just click CD and you go back again. So here, I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing. In my case, I will not find the device there because I am repeating again. I have done it and I'm guiding this time. So I do not want to repeat again the lab. So in my lab, if I am to see manage and Roman I will not see the app. so under individual and Roman I will see some other lab here. Okay. I may not see our group how many see this lab. Okay, but when you paste this you will see a result coming out. Simulation will be coming in. Okay. Follow through, follow through, and then you can stop by pressing Control C here. Okay. And then task one. Let's see the other thing. So we have click manage enrollment, individual enrollment. This way we will see the CSL. And you click on it. After that, you delete. Where do you delete is, once you click this, I'm clicking on THL 2004. If you click this, okay. And then you see under, uh, okay, you don't click on the icon. You click here. Let me show you. Manage enrollment. You guys, give me a while. It is loading. Because left eye is to give you a feeling. The simulation is taking place. Okay, how you will manage your group enrollment and individual enrollment. So under individual, yeah, this is because of okay. you press that again. Right. right, so here you click on this. And you can see here delete. So similarly, you will see sensor feature 100. Click on it and click delete button on top. Right? There you already remove it.
So I'm the so you can either go back to the dashboard and then from dash. So yeah. You have deleted what you have created so you don't see it anymore because we already did it this story right and that's all for lab 5 you have completed lab 5 see you again in the next lab don't forget to subscribe